Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I am standing here at over 3,500 meters above sea level on the famous Jungfraujoch on top of Europe. In this video I would like to show you if it's worth coming here and what you can expect. So, have fun watching. Hello guys, we are heading to Vart's Grindelwald to go up to the Jungfraujoch today. I've been living in Switzerland all my life, but I never made it up there. And that has one simple reason, because it's really expensive. It costs about 200 Swiss francs for both ways to go up and down. And so far I was never willing to spend that money. I rather bought new cameras and stuff like that. The good thing is that my dad invited the whole family as a Christmas gift. So today we are going and I decided to take you with me to see what you can expect. There are two ways to go to the Jungfraujoch. One is from Lauterbrunnen. There is this nice uh, train, but you can also come from Grindelwald with the new cable car Eiger Express. So it takes you up really fast. That's it, that's the Eiger Express. There is a place for over like one, two, three. Like 24 people or something, it's huge. And we're alone. It's a Wednesday, so it's probably less crowded than usual. I would anyways recommend you to just go during the week and not on the weekends. It's always better if you have a gondola on your own. We are now on the Eiger Gletscher. That's the middle station where we have to switch from the cable car to the train. We were able to make seat reservations, which can be helpful if it's crowded because the train isn't too big. You like the train? So much. Why? It's the best train ever. I think it's the highest railway station in Europe, Europe or yeah. something. That's what they say on their website. So, never been on a higher train. Whoop, whoop. Was that funny? <laughs> yes. I can see it all clear from above. That's a crazy ride. It's like a subway, but it feels like we're going up. So we made a little stop at the Eismeer. That's basically a really beautiful lookout point. The train stops and you can get out for five minutes and then they announce when the train is about to leave again. So make sure that you are back in the train and not out there. There's a restaurant where you can take out food. But obviously, because of our favorite virus, you can't sit. We are now on the official tour. What you can do, so you start at the railway station. Let's figure out where it takes us. But I guess that's the direction to the lookout point. Okay, the lift that takes you all the way up to the lookout point is just crazy. It's like a rocket ship. Wow. Here we are. Looking back on it all, maybe I can see what was broken. But it's a lonely call. Yeah, it's a lonely call.
We are now about to enter the ice palace, so it gets ice chilly. Ice. Okay, and this is the last attraction. That's basically the view platform. And you can see up there the so-called things that we were earlier, where you have the view over everything. And here you're surrounded by majestic Alpine mountains. So we are on our way down now and I think we spent approximately two hours up there but I think 30 minutes more would have been okay as well. So here we are back at home. I'm really tired. I think the altitude really gets you and especially if it's a sunny day then yeah you just come home and you just want to go straight to bed. But before I do that I just want to wrap up the whole thing about the Jungfrau Joch and just give you my conclusions about this trip. First of all if you're looking for an adventure with many attractions almost like a theme park then the Jungfrau Joch is perfect for you. It's just that mountain that you want to see when you're in Switzerland. So if you have the budget then I absolutely recommend to visit this place. If you want to go on a hike or just have some mountains and get some exercise maybe you're better off by visiting another place. If you live in Switzerland and you're not really in a hurry then I would recommend to wait until there's a sale that you can get up a bit cheaper than the usual prices. All the informations about the trip are on the website of the Jungfrau region so I put the link in the description and you will find everything to plan your trip. If you have any questions or if you would like to share your opinion on that video and just write comments I'm really happy to read them and answer them and finally subscribe to my channel like that you won't miss any new adventures and then I will see you very soon have a nice day and thank you for watching goodbye